All right, Mines, let's go to the latest news involving the Detroit Lions. The Lions, of course, have been very active this offseason. They made a lot of big-time moves. The draft is now only a few short days away, so all eyes are focused on the draft. But there has been one under-the-radar report out of Detroit that I think is a massive sign of a key player out in a crucial position for the Detroit Lions. I think very interesting thing the Lions want to know about. Yeah, Nick, the story that you have dug up is going to be very interesting. I think the Lions fans are going to want to hear all about this. But before we get all into that, We all know the draft is just a mere few days away, but that is not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the draft, but not this draft. I want to know drafts of the past. Who was your favorite draft steal for the Lions? Who's the guy that flew under the radar? The Lions were able to pick him up, and he came out, and he was just a steal for the Lions. Really very productive player. Let us know in the comments below, but make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear a word from the partner of today's video, Neuro. But Nick, Nonetheless, what are the Lions doing? What is this big move or a big uh, piece of news that pertains to the Lions? Yeah, so Detroit's been incredibly active this offseason, made a lot of big time names at virtually every part of the football team, except quarterback. Most notably, they stuck with Jared Goff. They, he is their QB1. All signs are pointing him to be their full time starter, at least in 2023 and potentially beyond. But over the past week or so, there's been some reports of big contracts being rolled around. Of course, Jalen hurts and a huge massive deal of course with the philadelphia eagles the lamar jackson saga rolls on joe burrow justin herbert are in their contract negotiations and then jared goff was asked about this this report came up specifically and if you want to go ahead and throw this up i think this is very interesting and kind of a telling move by the detroit lions involving jared goff so this was first uh, shown to us by by the score.com uh reading from the report detroit lions quarterback jared goff confirmed he hasn't has not spoken with the team about a new contract but is open to negotiating a possible extension. Goff said, quote, it hasn't been brought to my attention, but yeah, of course, open to anything. This is according to Justin Rogers, the Detroit News. Quote, I'm a player. I don't have to make those decisions. And if I did, I would have made that decision a long time ago. Goff has two years remaining on his contract with cap hits of $30.9 million in 2023 and $31.9 million in 2024, according to Over the Cap. All right, Miles, I think this is very interesting news involving Jared Goff. We've talked about Goff and the Lions a lot over the past, frankly, year or so. Goff has been, a, he's proven me wrong. I thought he was going to be not very good with Detroit. I think he's been a very good player, a certainly very capable starting quarterback. But the question does remain, is he the long-term answer to the Detroit Lions? And I think Holmes and company is making a smart move here, waiting to see how this year pulls out before they give him a potential extension. They want to see the Lions with his much improved roster, take that next step and get to the playoffs. I think that's what they're waiting for here. You saw it with the Seahawks. Geno Smith took him to the playoffs. They're able to give him a three year deal extend off of that and move forward with Geno Smith being their starting quarterback at least the next two or three years talking about Seattle of course shifting over to Detroit I think Holmes and company is really waiting for Goff to take this team to the postseason now that they have a lot of the talent in place they got the right culture a lot of pieces come together things are looking really good it's now on Goff to take this team to the playoffs if he does that especially if they make a run in the playoffs I think Holmes will open up the checkbook and give Goff the deal that Goff apparently wants and I think that's what he's waiting for and I think that's a smart move by the Lions because that's the last question mark the last box to be checked can jared golf be the guy to take this resurgent detroit team into the playoffs and take him on a playoff run and until he answers that question i don't think he deserves a contract extension so from that perspective i think it's a smart move by the lions waiting until that happens what are your thoughts on golf the lions and just everything with this contract situation right now yeah nick i think what you said is basically is jared golf the qb1 of the lines for this year yes for the future not yet he could yeah. be but there is not yet. He still has some left to prove to get that big time deal. He obviously is on the books for the Lions uh, for two more years. So, I mean, he has plenty of time to prove it. He has this year, he has next year. And then, you know, at that point in time, we're going to move on. But I think we're going to find out this year. I think this is the key year. As you said, they've been building this roster. And I think after we see who they go after in the draft, uh, this roster is was ready to make the playoffs last year. They were just very, very close to making it there. They're definitely ready to make the playoffs this year. So if Goff can lead them there, I think they go ahead and resign him, as you say. Uh, if he can't, I don't think they I don't think they stick with him for the long term. They're not gonna want to pay him a ton of money if he cannot go to the playoffs with this much upgraded roster. I think especially on they got him a lot of help on defense as well. So he should be able Uh, to get the ball in his hands much more often this season. And that uh, potent Lions offense we saw at the uh, beginning of the season will have much more time to click and keep going. Uh, Because I honestly, I think early on, that was one of the big big faults. Why they didn't win a couple of close games in the beginning of the season is because defense let off a lot of points in the beginning of the season. It was not very good. 
Uh, obviously, they evolved and got better as the season went on, and that showed, and they were a better football team overall. They took the Bills to the ropes on Thanksgiving. They were, like, almost there. Uh, but like you said, I think Goff is a very good player. Uh, he proved me wrong as well. I didn't think that he would be as good as he was, but I think this is a telling year. We got to see how Goff performs, and we're going to see uh, if that leads him to a contract extension. Yeah, and especially when you look at the price the lines are paying for golf right now. And look, I love OverTheCap.com. They do a great job using a lot of analytics to value players in terms of valuing, hey, based on their production and the position they play, how much their cap it should be. And according to OverTheCap, they value Jared Goff at about $33 million. Jared Goff's cap hit this season is going to be about $31 million, like I said earlier. So they're getting Goff at a fair price. But if they're paying up for him, if he was, say, a $40 million, $45 million cap hit closer to obviously not up to Jalen Hurts, but closer to that window, closer to Mahomes, which is kind of the money that I think Jared Goff is hoping to get closer to, then it's a bad deal for the Lions based on Goff's current valuation. So you have to see if Goff can be the guy to take the Lions to the next step before you get him his money. And it's one of those things, Mike. I looked through the list of the guys that have the top 10 quarterback uh, cap numbers going into 2023. If you look at the guys around Jared Goff, and Jared Goff's in this list, you look at Patrick Mahomes bunch of playoff victories. Ryan Tannehill, a bunch of playoff victories. Lamar Jackson, playoff victory. Aaron Rodgers, a bunch of playoff victories. Heck, even Dak Prescott, multiple playoff victories. Jimmy Garoppolo, a lot of playoff victories. Russell Wilson, a lot of playoff victories. Then you have Daniel Jones and Kirk Cousin. They each have playoff victories. Jared Goff's the only guy in that bunch that, that doesn't have with the Detroit Lions, I should say, that hasn't gotten a playoff victory with his current team. I'll leave that one caveat. He obviously got it with the Rams. So that's why the Lions want to wait and see if Goff will be the guy for the future, if he can take this team not Sean McVay's team, not the Rams team that was stacked with talent, but the new resurgent Detroit Lions team into the playoffs and get him a playoff victory. And if he does that, that he joins, I think, those group of guys that I just mentioned, the Jacksons, the Prescotts, the Jimmy G's, the Russell Wilsons, the Ryan Tannehill's, Lamar Jackson's, even the Mahomes is right. The guy's making top of the market money. If he can do that, then he shows he's worth it. And then I think Holmes and company will open up the paycheck. He just has to prove he can do it with this team. And that's what I think everybody's waiting to see going into 2023. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment, you were able to have some neuro gum. Neuro gum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it. 